How's it going? Not much to see here. We're just gonna play some Table of the Week and then we're gonna go check out uh, the new Play and Learn series over at Game Club Central. So, just here to chill, hang out. Hope everybody's having a good day. Let's play some Whitewater and see if we can post some scores. Feel free to make fun of my POV. I didn't have a lot of time to play with the point of view and I got a feeling it's pretty messed up. Hopefully Astro will come critique me. I don't know, it doesn't look so bad. The inclination's probably not great. So the reason I'm playing this table is because it is the virtual pinball chat table of the week, which is a weekly competition on Discord. If you're interested in learning more or joining, there's a link to the virtual pinball chat Discord in the about me section on my Twitch page. And essentially how it works, there's a new table selected every week and you have from Monday until Sunday at midnight to post a high score and right now I think some of the scores are in the billions so I'll just be happy if I make it on the board soft plunge is not going well for me maybe nope too much of course the best game is the one I didn't record before I went live If anybody has any tips or tricks, feel free to shout them out in chat. Normally my strategy for this table is to uh, start multi-ball and then just keep pumping the multi-millions from the left ramp as much as I can. I do love the uh, the boulder pop bumpers. I will get the soft plunge down to get to the upper play field. The table audio or my audio? Because it wouldn't surprise me. Let me see. Is that any better or worse, Jacob? <laughs> Sounds the same, eh? One moment. Yeah, I'm not sure, Jacob. I'm a, I'm afraid to crank the table audio too much more. It sounds like it's coming through. It's hard to say on the mic. Hmm. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not sure. In general, my audio is typically a little bit lower than most.
Well, that's good. I turned the gain up on the microphone a little bit. Gimme! How's it going? Moody! Yeah, the balance might be. Ah. Well, I can turn the mic down and set in a moment. I was kind of scrambling to get live today. I had everything set for when we do FX. In VPX, I usually do a little more fine tuning. But I ran out of time. After this game, I'll uh, kick it up a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get to restart this multi-ball. That timeout is going. Maybe? Uh, tonight, the giveaway will be at Game Club Central. Uh, Play and Learn will start at 9 p.m. And we'll raid into that. He, uh, Smog uh, Marty will start at 9 p.m. And this week, the play and learn is going to be Devil's Dare and Defender, which I'm kind of excited about. Alright, I turned the table volume up a little bit. I don't want to blow anybody's eardrums out, so let me know if it needs to go more. Smog is immortal. He comes back to life every time you restart the Hobbit. <laughs> Lord Hawk, how's it going? Lord Hawk, are you as excited for Devil's Dare as I am? Even if it's not Willy's Wonderland? <laughs> I hope they make a sequel to Willy's Wonderland. At the very least, at least we're going to get a, a sequel to the Banana Splits movie, which if you haven't seen the Banana Splits movie and you liked Willy's Wonderland, I highly recommend it. It is not the Banana Splits of our childhood. It is its own thing. I'm sure Nicolas Cage has it at his house, sitting next to the T-Rex skull in his kitchen. I cannot get this soft plunge down to get into the upper playfield. Too much.
gimme exactly that was my thought too is i figure he's got it sitting next to the t-rex skull at his house next to the wicker man totem <laughs> you know I hope this doesn't make you think less of me, but I've seen the original Wicker Man. I never saw the Nicolas Cage one. It's on the list. See if we can restart that multi ball. Just going to hit the post all day long. It's funny. I. I feel the same way about the FX3 version and this version just getting destroyed. However, when I play it in real life, I actually do okay. Same is true with Toten too. I do a little bit better with Tales of Arabian Nights on FX3 than I do with Whitewater but I do much better in real life than I do virtually. Come on, want the multi-millions? I'm with you, Hawk. I wish uh, I wish I had more time to learn tables too. But that's kind of, that's what I treat this as. If I'm playing at the V pin, I'm trying to learn the table. I am geeked for the double feature, but I really would have been okay with just uh, Devil's Dare. Although, I got a feeling it would be hard to spend an entire stream session on just Devil's Dare. Let's see if we can backhand the multi-millions ramp. Well, we'll lock a ball in the meantime. I am excited for Defender though. I've played Defender once in real life. I haven't flipped the VPX much, the new VPW one, but it looks really clean. the Dwayne.
Too much. Rush. You're not wrong, Warby. That would be a good clip. I may make that happen tonight. I never realized they called the pop bumpers the boulder garden. It's kind of funny. I have hopes of at least making it to a replay of this game. I don't think it's going to happen. Nope. See, I shouldn't have said anything. At least this version doesn't have the uh, Yeti laughing at you. <laughs> F that Sasquatch. I'm playing just the tip with the multi millions ramp, and it's really starting to piss me off. Get up there.
Too much. The Yeti still looks at you, though, in a really creepy fashion. I guess it's a Sasquatch, isn't it? Yetis are snow. At the start of the pandemic, when we were all stuck at home, uh, I started watching a bunch of old movies with my kids, and we watched The Creature from the Black Lagoon, and I'd forgotten that he's called the Gill Man. Like, just, I don't know, some point in time, it slipped my brain. And so my son asked me what they called him, and I said, I don't know, he's the creature. And he goes, well, they should call him the Sea Squatch. And I gotta go with that's okay. I kind of like Sea Squatch. So much for the multi-ball. Hey, I hit the multi-millions ramp. Is that gonna restart for me? As soon as I can trap up, I will read your chat, Jacob. I can't quite see it out of the corner of my eye. All right, fun fact. The only physical pinball I've ever played with a rubber ball dispenser at Little Caesars where there's no score and a bunch of holes in the play field for the ball to go down to or to the hatch and all you do is just keep the ball going until your order is ready <laughs> Well, you could have fooled me, Jacob, for how good you are at, or are at virtual pinball. Sonic Spinball, excellent choice. And there she goes. No! I got that 5x play field. I need those multi millions. I'm just gonna let it return. No! 
And I'm gonna hit the post all day. No! Oh, such a waste of a 5X. I don't know uh, if anyone here follows Try to Tilt Pinball, but Try to Tilt is currently doing a big goal to purchase a Viking beer helmet to wear when he plays pinball on Friday nights. And he showed pictures of it last night, and I'm not going to lie. I, I threw some bits at it. I think that would be entertaining. It's literally a beer helmet that can hold two cans of beer, but it's a Viking helmet with the horns. I'm with you on that one, Jacob. I do drink alcohol, but I haven't since the the human Tetris pinball incident when I did the pinball battle and I was drinking gin and uh, ended up sleeping next to the cabinet. That video on demand is also still Goofy. over at Try to Tilt's Goofy. pinball channel. Gorgar lives. Thank you so much for the follow. If I had a mod, Moody, or a mod that was currently here, yes. So when I drain this ball, which will be soon, I will give a shout out. Also, Gorgar lives welcome. Gorgar is one of my favorite pinball tables of all time. There you go, try to tilt pinball, excellent streamer. He's part of why I started streaming. And I highly recommend you give him a follow. Yeah, Try to Tilt has a tendency to stream late at night. Um, he's trying to become more regular again. Usually Tuesdays. Uh, but he typically doesn't start before 11 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes a little bit later. Last night he streamed eight hours straight. He started at like 11.45. And when I got up to go to work this morning at 5 a.m., he was still going.
I wish I was able to watch Laserlo spend 10 hours on a single boss and I want to be <laughs> I, I want to be that guy though. There was a day that Laser had been going for like 17 hours, or may, it, that's probably an exaggeration, but not by much. And I tuned into him at work, and he had just done a couple of ripskis, and he was eating Cheetos with chopsticks while looking at monster truck videos on YouTube in between pinball games. And all I could think of is that's the life that I want to lead. He is my hero. Dead center. Come on. Ah. Finally, up the ramp. Apologize. Phone was going off and I had to make sure it wasn't a notification that Game Club Central was going live because when Game, Game Club Central goes live for play and learn, then we'll head over there and learn about Devil's Dare. Missed one. Try and spam that ramp, but it just ain't happening tonight. Usually about the time I master one of these tables, it's time to switch to the next table of the week. Although I will say Avengers last week, I don't think I ever got above 26 million. That was rough. That table had some thirsty outlanes.
I would say that my average was less than 9 million, Jacob. It was when I got lucky with a couple of combination multi balls. Whoever designed this table for sure played with marble works as a child. slow. I would love to see one of these videos Groovy. from uh, Groovy. Agentman, thank you so much. I hope I didn't just slaughter your name, but thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Dave950, how's it going? No I hope you're doing well this evening. Oh, I can't complain. Except for I think this white water table has found my no-no square. It is not loving me tonight. Sunday the Griffin, welcome. Well, this is the... When you say you've always wanted to play, you mean the physical pin? Or just in general, because... This is the visual pinball version, which is very much free. You'd be surprised, Jacob. Like I said, I generally do better on this table in real life than... Um, Mr. Pin Dragon, how's it going? See if I can restart that multi-ball. We're all doing just fine. Thank you for asking, Mr. Pendragon. Thundy, if you'd like to 
play this table or learn how you can play it on a computer or video game console near you. There's a bunch of people here in chat that I'm sure would be willing to help. Uh, also, there is the um, virtual pinball chat discord, which there is an invite to on the about me page of my Twitch. All sorts of resources and tutorials that would be, hey, Zen Pinball's great. I can't remember if this table is on Zen Pinball or yeah, you can. It's no, so that it is a this table is released on Zen, but um, I think it's the Williams Pinball app. Because if you're on an Apple or Android device, I think they separate them into the Zen Pinball and then the Williams Pin uh, Williams Pinball, and you get fish tails for free. And then there's a cost associated with this one. Okay, it is there. So Thundy, we do a we do a pinball FX tournament every Monday and Wednesday night. And we invite people from all platforms to come play. Um, Zen Pinball can't post scores, but we'll let the, we'll let you shout them out in chat, and we'll include you, include you in the standings. Next week, Monday, we'll be playing Sorcerer's Lair uh, at 8:30 p.m. Eastern, which is one of the free Zen Pinball tables. And then on Wednesday nights, over at the Game Club Central channel, we have the Pinball FX Drain Freeze Tournament. This week we'll be playing the Marvel, uh, World. I think it's, is it World War Hulk? Incredible War Hulk? And Fear Itself. And that'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern. You're not alone, Jacob. I I know I've played the Hulk one in the past, but it's been a very long time. Well, you have a leg up, Mr. Pendragon, because... I know the wife and I have not looked at it yet. Your best table is Theater of Magic, 1.4 billion. Nice. That's a great table. Jacob says, my best table is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on TPA with 1.3 billion. I've always wanted to play a Frankenstein table in real life. The TPA makes it look, uh, TPA being the pinball arcade makes it look really cool. Starship Troopers is one of my favorite tables, and I don't play it enough. No, 
No! For shame. All right, I missed what my score is, but I'm gonna get ready to take a picture to submit for competition in case it's better than what I had. Ooh, I got initials. Come on, show the score. There we go. Hold up, tremors in space, what? Oh, <laughs> Starship Troopers is tremors in space. You know, that's a fair point, I like that. I used to really like the 90s cartoon series, too. Obviously not as extreme as the movie. The CGI cartoons that have come out the past few years haven't been too bad, though. If you guys could help keep me honest, I have the uh, I have the notifications up, so I should see when Game Club Central goes live. But if I miss it, someone please shout it out in chat. Groovy, groovy. Thundy the Griffin, thank you so much for following. Uh, the movie has the universe to the novel correct. The storyline, not so much. The cartoon show, like the kids' cartoon show, actually followed the, uh, the story of the novels a little bit better. Jacob, thank you for letting me know. I will finish this game and then we will go visit Game Club Central for tonight's play and learn, which is uh, Devil's Dare. <laughs> Willy's Wonderland Light. Believe it or not, they actually made three live action um, Starship Troopers movies. The third one actually takes more uh, more cues out of the book, but still not very faithful. It just it has the Marauders and more of the elements of the book, whereas the first movie does not. But they nailed the uh, they nailed the universe. There's an anime series, too, from 88, but I, I, I'll be honest, I know I've seen it. I haven't watched it in, like, 20 years. Neil Patrick Harris is great in that movie, and I really think that movie helped uh, breathe some life back into his career post Doogie Howser.
go. I think that wraps it up. A hearty handshake to everyone, and now we're going to go visit uh, Smog over at Game Club Central. I hope Dylan. to see everybody Wednesday. You son of a bitch. Have a good night, everyone.